Abby here, so today we're talking about hermit crabs and thinking about getting hermit crabs. So the first thing I did, of course, is research. I got like four pages of this stuff. So I mean, like, yes, I of course I researched guys. And my big thing that I was worried about is does it stink? Guess what? It doesn't stink. Wonderfully. Well, of course it's gonna stink if you don't give it a bath. If you don't give it a bath and like forever, then yes, your cage is going to stink. And what a, one thing that I did find, if you, you need to take a water bottle or a spray bottle with water, and you have to, like, mist your cage every day to keep it moist, or your hermit crab will die. Okay, so first thing I did was come up with names, because I like to name things. So it's a girl, I came up with Mapenzi. Well, I didn't come up with it. I found it. It's Mapinzi. It's a Greek word meaning dearly loved. And if it's a boy, it's Keith. It's an Irish word meaning man of the battlefield. I like, you know, different names from, like, different uh, cultures for, her, for animals because I didn't mean, want to name something that I would name my kid in the future, because I'm like, and if I ever name my kid that, then I'll be like, oh yeah, I had a hermit crab named after you, and they're like, oh really, I'm named after a hermit crab? Oh, wonderful. Yeah. If I got told I was named after a hermit crab, then yes, I will be a little spoiled. Like, oh yeah, and for a middle name, I don't care if it's a boy or a girl, Callion. It's warrior, uh, warrior of life, so that's just going to be it no matter what. Sorry for writing things. <laughs> okay, then now to hermit crab care, what you need for to care for your hermit crab is a cage. So if you have one, if you're getting one hermit crab, you'll need a cage or one gallon cage. If you're getting two, two gallon cage, etc., etc. How many, however many hermit crabs you're getting, that's how many gallons of, for the cage you need. Bedding, um, you'll need shredded coconut husk, or it's also called cocoa core. Those are the best. Um, don't do pebbles. If you fill your whole thing with pebbles, that's gonna hurt your hermit crab's limbs. I heard, so I wouldn't do that. And then you'll need to fill it with cocoa core. Uh, you'll need to fill your container a third of it. Thir um, third of the container needs to be filled with it. And then you'll need two water bowls. Uh, one salt water, one uh, fresh water. And they'll need something to climb on. And, um... Then they'll need like just a tiny little bowl for food. They don't need a very big bowl, but they'll need like a little, like it's a nice size um, water bowl, but not too deep. Don't fill the water too deep because they will drown. Um, and then you'll need to mist the tape daily with water, of course, like I just told you. <laughs> and then change the food and water daily so that way it doesn't start to stink or they just stop eating because they've got too much of their you know, poo in it, whatever, <laughs> and then you'll need HBH salt water and fresh water, and put a sponge in the fresh water, and, or put a sponge in both, because hermit crabs like to suck on the sponge, and so if you keep the sponges, like little sponges in there, it will help them drink it. Um, they eat fruit and chicken, raw chicken, just raw chicken, but also you can get them, um, HBH, Hermit Crab Varianty Bites, they're basically, and plus at the pet store they'll give you Hermit Crab food, but you know, the, um, HBH Hermit Crab Varianty Bites are, um, vitamins, so those help, and you'll definitely need extra shells, because, see, they mulch, and when they mulch, they bigger that's um, also something else if they if they disappear for a couple weeks that means they're mulching which means they're underground growing and soon they'll come up with a new shell um, that's why you need bigger shells than they do like you know just keep getting bigger shells and different tooth choose, choose they like to choose their shells and don't mess with them when they're 
mulching that because that can pre mess up the whole process. Just leave them on. Don't freak out or anything. Oh yes, and when you're picking them up, hold by the shell and do not let you freak out. They will not hurt you. They may t try to touch you, but I mean, don't drop them. That would just hurt them. Um, so just remember to hold by the shell and don't drop them. Don't get scared. They're they're not they're not gonna hurt you unless you hurt them. And the next thing is hermit crab toys. Basically, all you need for toys is a big, um, you know, what I, um, it's like a cup, you know, like those red cups. Just cut a big opening out of it, because they like to go in dark spaces. So just like a, basically a hut. Um, doesn't have to be all fancy, just get a cup and cut it, but you know, hut. And something to climb on. They like to climb on things, because they're, land they're actually called tree um tree crabs they like to climb on stuff and everything and when you um let them out to play um you definitely want to watch them and when i found is easiest well what i've seen that's easiest is when you're giving them a bath to have like a playpen so get like a box and just put all their toys in there and that way, when they're drying off, you can just let them play in there. By the way, they like to come in packs. That's why I'm getting one and my old little brother is getting one. So they can, you know, be together. Um, but lots of stuff to climb on. Okay, last thing is how to give a hermit crab a bath. Which, this is probably the most important part of taking a hermit crab. Um, uh, you'll need a bowl. Just a nice bowl, like, you know, not too deep. Because they will drown. Um, a cup of filtered water or tap water. Um, a safe soap spray for hermit crabs. You can get that at your local pet store. Uh, don't put too much water or they will drown. Um, spray two squirts of the soap, safe soap spray for the hermit crabs. And if you feel it's still not safe enough, you can spray a couple more. Just two is what I've heard works best. Leave them in there for five seconds. Don't leave them in longer, they will drown. Sorry. Five seconds. And then the let them walk around on a paper towel and you can like shake your shell out to get it dry off and everything. And do a bath every night. Like make it a nightly routine because that way they don't feel too dirty and start getting crusty. So yeah, those are my tips on hermit crabs because, well, I think I did a lot of research and I think this research is good because I've also went to pet stores and asked them questions. So I will be updating on when I get the hermit crab. Hopefully August 28th will be the time and day for it. So when I get it, I will definitely video and um... One more tip is when you're picking out your hermit crab, I would ask the pet store to like let them walk around and see which one's most active. I would want the one that's most active, maybe. And yes. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye!